Yo, yo, how's it hanging, peeps? Welcome to another Urban Gameplay video, and you all must know the score already. When we start each and every month, we always have to reflect over the previous month and pick out some of the hottest games that was released. And therefore, in this video, we're going to take a look at what I consider Game of the Month of August 2015. Creating these lists are definitely becoming really expensive because I always try and reflect on the games that I've actually played and definitely as per usual if I've left out any games that you feel that was released in the month of August and I've left out of this list please pop it in the comments below and as per usual I'll definitely try it out and let you guys know what I think about that game. Although the summer isn't really a prime month for game launches, there was plenty of games that was released during this period and August is no different. It's a lot of fun to enjoy new experiences and thankfully in the month of August we was abundant in this regard with some of the extraordinary games and a whole lot of interesting ideas that was hitting our shelves. This is why I've created a list with some of the hottest video games released for the month of August 2015. So sit back and relax and enjoy this list. Taking position number 5 is Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now as per usual you all know how I feel about these remastered games but I gotta say Gears of War Ultimate Edition definitely gets a squeeze because I really like what the developers have done here. It gives those who haven't had the opportunity to play the classics on the Xbox 360 an opportunity to get up to date before the latest Gears of War drops so that's what I'm really happy about. So anyway Gears of War Ultimate Edition is basically a remastered of the original game only this time we have it in a higher definition and with a few extra features not to mention that this is the first time we can actually play the franchise on PC that's how popular it has really become there's some small and large tweaks with regard in the multiplayer mode but overall the experience is pretty much revamped in order to offer you a more seamless refined gameplay and better ideas as you see fit the result is a better experience than you once had before with improved visuals and a slew of other features that will make playing this game well worth it I say definitely pick this game up if you haven't really played the originals on the Xbox 360 and if you're a fan of the series, it's definitely worth picking up. Taking position number 4 is Galaxy on the PS4. I look at Galaxy the Dimension as a fast paced shooter that tries to seamlessly combine the world of let's say Far Cry and Halo in a 2D world filled with a range of challenges. What makes this game extremely exciting and interesting is the fact that you get an opportunity to explore the galaxy as you see fit. Something that works seamlessly with the roguelike elements that this title has added throughout its gameplay. Levels are randomly generated for each game so you'll always have the opportunity to explore new experiences and have lots of fun in doing so. In addition what makes Galaxy The Dimension interesting is the fact that each of these levels are connected pretty much like an endless dungeon and thus the exploration aspect in the game feels much more cohesive. As an added bonus the levels also include traps and spawners for enemies something that makes the experience more immersive so this is really a cool game if you're into these type of space shooters. Check this out. Taking up position number 3 is Until Dawn and if you want to get scared endless this game is definitely the game to play. Until Dawn is a horror game that was designed in order to be replayed multiple times also that you can fully understand the full story. I only recently got this game so I haven't really explored it to its fullest depths but trust me I am really having cool fun playing this game. The style of play definitely reminds me of one of my favourite classics on the PlayStation 3 and that goes the name of Heavy Rain where your choices affect the outcome of the game. In Until Dawn you choose from 8 characters and help any of them survive until dawn. Each playthrough takes around 10 hours to complete and the experience is well worth it because each time you get to experience something new and exciting. As you try to avoid blurring lines from the butterfly effect, you should definitely give until dawn a try if you're into these type of survival horror games and if you want to uncover a very cool unique story with lots of charisma, this is definitely one game to really consider. Until dawn is a very demanding game and you will face some dire consequences as you play, all of which provides you a refined, fun and exciting experience experience. Take 
Taking position number two is Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Everyone's Gone to the Rapture is an adventure game that was created as a spiritual successor for the Dear Esther game. It's definitely one of the most interesting and visually impressive adventure games that was released in the month of August 2015. And believe me when I say this game definitely offers a lot of replay value unlike never before. The main premise in this title is that you get to explore a small English town in which the inhabitants are disappearing one after another. You can easily interact with all the items and locations in the game world and the more you progress the more you find out about what's happened. Despite the decisions released in this game on the PS4 instead of the PC exclusive as it was initially announced the game definitely offers an immense amount of value and a good gameplay to justify its purchase. The title is very similar to Dear Esther but the gameplay is pretty much immersive so you'll definitely have a lot of fun playing this game. Definitely if you're into these type of games yet again as I said try it out it does look a bit crazy because it looks like nothing's going on in the background but trust me the game is extremely addictive. Taking position number one is Rare Replay on the Xbox One. As a massive fan of Rare, especially from the Nintendo days, when this game was announced at the E3 2015 show, I was definitely looking forward to this title to drop. Rare Replay is a collection of 30 games that was created by the developer Rare throughout the years. The best part of the entire compilation is definitely the fact that you get to play titles released on some of the older consoles as well, including those released even on the ZX Spectrum back in the days. The game are emulated in order to run on the Xbox One, so if you're an Xbox One owner, I personally definitely suggest picking up this title. What I love about the entire compilation is the fact that all the games retain their original form with minimal cuts which means that all the features are intact and definitely fun. You can find cheats in Rare Replay as well, something that makes the experience even more immersive and refined and that's definitely for sure. The entire compilation was created in order to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the British game developer Rare and it's definitely one of the best ways to relive some of the stellar moments in the history of this amazing developer. You can find no less than six emulators within the package and the company has worked with Microsoft in order to use the Xbox 360 emulation package in order to make the entire experience more refined and a lot more fun. Some of the games that you can find within the package includes Blast Corps, Battletoads Arcade, Cameo, Viva Pinata, Perfect Dark Zero, Jet Force Gemini, Stellum, Silver Wolf and many others. With Rare Replay you have the opportunity to relive some of the greatest moments in gaming history all offered by the same great developer. I'm currently trying to get through Conker's Bad Fur Day and having a real good time playing this game. All in all, this is definitely one of the hottest games that was released in August 2015. Anyway peeps, thanks for watching another Urban Gameplay video. These are some of the top games released this August 2015. If you want to experience a lot of fun and extraordinary gameplay, then you should consider checking out one or even all of them because these games are not only bring you intense gameplay, they also make it fun for you to uncover their stories and involve you as a gamer. These games are also available on multiple platforms, so you should definitely be able to play most of them no matter what platform you're currently using. Anyway, do let me know what your favourite game of August 2015. Please subscribe also like the video share it do all that good stuff until next urban gameplay video peace out peeps